with Mark Phillips, who's outside St. George's Chapel. Mark, good morning again. <laughs> good morning. Well, we've been talking up until now about how different the guest list looks uh, for this kind of wedding, but in two hours' time when that ceremony begins, uh, it's going to look quite different from normal, traditional royal weddings as well. There'll be a lot of tradition in it. There'll be the hymns. There'll be the prayers. There'll be the blessings. There'll be the exchange of vows, of course. Uh, but there will also be a distinct American element uh, in the ceremony as well, including in the music, and particularly including in the people giving the service. The service will be uh, led by the local uh, prelate here at the uh, at the chapel. Uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury uh, will in fact marry, Justin Welby will in fact marry the couple uh, and do the exchange of vows, but the sermon may well be the highlight uh, of this ceremony because it's going to be given by the American Episcopalian uh, Bishop uh, Michael Curry, who has a style that this place was probably never heard the likes of, and I had a really interesting opportunity to sit down with both of them yesterday, and this is what they had to say. For you, um, Bishop Curry, did, is there something special for you to, to participate in an event like this? Do you see it as inclusive in that respect, that someone uh, like you from the American Church, the American Episcopal Church, being here in the heart of the of Church of England country, does that make any kind of a difference to you? Well, well, to be sure, um, um, the, the Church of England um, is, is the mother church, um, and, and so um, it, it, it's always to be good in Mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> no, I really I can't believe you just said that. I think that's absolutely it's, fantastic. Do you see yourself, Bishop Curry, as bringing yeah. that kind of style, that, that kind of American preacher style, to this <laughs> wedding? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just yes, going to show up. <laughs> Come on, you're no, going to bring. I'll bring. I'll. You know, I, I. I never forget. My daddy told me um, when I was fairly new as as a priest. He said, "Just always be who you really are. Don't pretend to be somebody else." And. So so a very different kind of sermon anticipated here, certainly different from the style that we've uh, heard here in the past, and it'll be followed by a very different kind of music. The old classic uh, Stand By Me will be played when after, as soon as, uh, as Bishop Curry has, uh, has finished uh, his sermon. So we have that to look forward to in what? A little under two hours from now. Kevin? All right, and we will be right here. Thank you, Mark. I love how it says a non-traditional version of Stand By Me. That's code for gospel. It's going to be a gospel <laughs> version of Stand By Me, which I love that song. Yeah. I think it's beautiful that it's going to be played at their wedding, Stand well, By Me. And it's another one of the American touches that yes. are being added to this ceremony yes. that will make it special and very different. Which is exactly what they wanted it to be.